Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. My name is Nat, and I'm here for you. I am here for you as often as I can get into the studio and get in front of this microphone and try to give you the keys to the door that will unlock your happiness. And that's what this whole podcast is about, helping you to be happier and enjoy life, man. It's short. It seems like it's getting shorter. You know what's going on out there. It's crazy. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here. If there's something I can help you with or something you want me to discuss, you can hit me up on the website, bepositivepodcast.com slash your story, or you can text me. Put this in your contacts, 304-506-3332. I love hearing from you, and you know what? I respond pretty quick, don't I? For all of you that have been texting, uh, sometimes I get a little busy texting, but I get back to you as quick as I can. Don't forget about my book, The Positive Perspective. You can get it at Amazon, or you can do click the link below, get it from my website. You can also order a personalized copy. Those are... Uh, those seem to be the ones that everybody likes is a personal touch. I write something to you in the front cover, and you know, if I get famous one day, it could be worth a dollar more than you paid for it. <laughs> you never know. All right. I also have to say thank you and a shout out to Podomatic.com. They have been hosting this podcast since its inception, and they continue to do me right and uh, help me to get this podcast out there to almost a million people or over 800,000. Uh, maybe we'll get a million by the end of the year. That'll be cool. But I appreciate every one of you listening to the show. Podomatic.com. There's a link in the description. You can start your own podcast if you like, and maybe you've got something you've got to say too. You can start your site, your podcast for free right over there. All right. Enough promo. A uh, quick shout out to Asa and Corey. Thanks for listening to the show and taking the time to let me know. All right. <laughs> All right. What am I going to talk about today? Well, you know what? Um, there's a lot going on in the world. <laughs> Duh. Tell me something I don't know, right? There's so much going on and so much confusion and so much indecision and so much anger and hate and negativity that sometimes you get wrapped up in it and you don't even know what's right anymore and you start falling into a trap of uh, pseudo things that you think are making you happy or doing things out of habit uh, because that's just what you've always done. Or it's just the, you know, I just do what I want. I do what I want to do. And uh, this is my life. And that's the way it is. And um, it sounded like uh, Walter Cronkite. And that's the way it is. Uh, all right. But you, you get into this rut. And sometimes you actually start thinking about the things that you're doing. When uh, If you've been paying attention to the show, I often talk about thinking about what you think about. So pay attention to what you're thinking. And when you do that a lot, when you start practicing that, and actually digging down deep to who you really are. Sometimes you find shit that you don't really like about yourself. But you know what? You've been doing it so long. Uh, you're this, but this is who you are. You can't change. There's so many excuses that you can uh, use um, to cop out. So I can handle this. Maybe you drink too much. Maybe you smoke too much. Maybe you overeat too much. And you just say, you know what? I'd love to. I wish I was skinnier. I wish I didn't drink. I wish I didn't smoke. Uh, and but uh, this is just who I am and you make those excuses and you argue with yourself and then you say forget it I'm not going to change I live this long this way I'm not going to change and you get pig headed and your ego jumps in front and says you know what you're right you could do whatever you want you don't have to listen to that conscience or you don't have to listen to that inner self that is so important to your everyday existence and your your happiness and some people call that the, your evil side it could be your the, you know the devil on your shoulder or you know Somebody, uh, something in your mind is giving you that escape, making those excuses. But hopefully at some point in time, you realize the thing or things that you really, that really aren't you. Or maybe you outgrown them, or maybe it's just a habit that you're trying to break. But you just don't do it. Well, you know why you don't do it? Because it's uncomfortable. Because it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel easy. You're used to doing this. You're used to sitting on the couch and overeating. You're used to not exercising. You're used to having a drink or two or three or five or ten every single day. You're used to it, and that's who you are. You're used to smoking that cigarette after dinner or or whatever it is. Or whatever it is that you're trying to change that you don't like to do or that you think would make you healthier or happier. Because that's another side of it. You think of stuff that say, you know what, if I didn't do this, I'd have more money or I'd be happier or this but that I, and then it goes away because your ego jumps in and says, "Hey, hey, 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 that's who we are. We're going to do what we want to do, and, and you know nobody can change it. Those you get rid of those thoughts." But eventually, sometimes, uh, some people, myself included, 
you realize that there's certain things that you'd like to change about yourself. And you realize, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it really is hard, especially if it's ha- a habit that you've done for a long time. It gets really hard. So you don't want to do it. And the only way you can do it, the only way you can get through it, I'm only speaking from personal experience, is you know you're doing it right when you feel uncomfortable. When you feel different, like you're fighting that urge or you're not doing something or you're, you walk over to get that snack and you say, no, I'm going to sit down and you take control of your body. You don't let your subconscious habit, um, brain run your body because that's not who you want to be. So the only way to really make a change, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's a habit, whether it's a, a job, you know, because some people you just don't like your job and you want to quit, but you, you're very comfortable in your job. You get to go there every day. You get a consistent paycheck and you just deal with whatever you have to deal with because it's easier. It's easier and it's comfortable. And then you regret it and you regret it down the road, not making that change that you knew you should have. But it's like, now nah, I didn't want to do it. You know, the only way to do it, you, you have to feel uncomfortable. And when you're feeling uncomfortable about something that's uh, you're changing and you're probably doing it right. And it's really hard to take that uncomfort, that uneasiness and turn it into a positive energy to help you get through it. I did a podcast about a year or two ago talking about the 2190 rule. And if you do stump something for 21 straight days, it becomes a habit. And when you do it for 90 days, it becomes a lifestyle. And I'll tell you what, those first 21 days are going to really feel uncomfortable. And then I guarantee you the rest of the 90 days is also going to feel uncomfortable. Not as bad as the first 21, but it's going to be uncomfortable. And a lot of times when you're trying to make a change in your life or a change in your personality or a change in your lifestyle or habits or relationship or situation, the first, you, you might actually t- make the change and start it and feel uncomfortable and step out of that river of change back into solid ground, back into your security of your habit, of your repetition, of your rut. And then you, do, then you feel like, damn, I, I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And you, you give yourself an out and a, a cop out and an excuse. And the bottom line, you're only fooling yourself. Just fooling yourself. And we all do it. I'm not saying you alone. I'm right. I'm in the same boat. We're all learning this shit called life together, man. So if you really, really, really have something in your life that you want to change, I don't care what it is. We all got something we dislike about ourselves. <laughs> God, don't we? And if you don't like dislike anything, then your ego is so huge, you don't even need my show. <laughs> but in order to do it, you got to do it and then get through the uncomfortable po- uh, uncomfortable portion. I've talked about stepping into the river of change. And when you step in with one foot, that river's flying by. Maybe the water's cold. Maybe it's uncomfortable. And you still got that second foot on your security, on your habit, on your repetition, on your past. So when you take that second foot off of that and step in both feet with the change and feel the uncomfortableness and get through that, that's when you start to get strong. And if you if you take that step in there and you start to feel uncomfortable and you jump out and say, no, I'm not going to make that change. That's okay. Cause maybe you can't do it a hundred percent the first time, but don't give up. Don't give up on that thing that you want to change about yourself. I didn't. And I'm happy and I'm going through it right now through a change in my life that I want to be a different kind of person. I want to think differently. So I have to actually be uncomfortable. And it's a bitch, but I'm going to get through it. And you can too. So let's stick to it. Let's stick to that thing we're going to change. Define it, first of all. And actually look at yourself and go, you know what? Why am I doing this? Why am I living this life? Why am I in this relationship? Why am I drinking so much? Why am I doing drugs? Why do I, why am I at this job I hate? Why am I living in this town I hate? And then make the change to make yourself happier. 
if you're not happy in the situation or the environment that you're in. But you're going to be uncomfortable. I'm telling you, you got to get through it. You will get through it. Haven't you got, you're still alive. You're listening to the show. You've been through stuff in the past and you've gotten through it. You will get through it. And if you don't get through it, then nothing to worry about after that, right? So just continue to strive to be happy. And you know what? It's going to be uncomfortable at times, but the rewards is the reward is going to be huge. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to be elated at how strong you feel and how much better you feel about yourself when you start to make the change and stick to it. And there's going to be chances and situations where you're going to slip back and you want to go back to whatever it is that you're trying to change. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a habit. But when you fight that and you don't do it and you come through that, there's no other feeling in the world like that. And it helps you to totally grow and become a stronger, happier person and live a better life. So that's it. Get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> and when you do and you accept it and you use that as a strength and turn it into a positive, you can make those changes that you want to make. All right. Okay, I got. A, I also have a few emails from some people that I'm not going to read on this show. I will read them on another show. Uh, I have to go through them, and um, uh, I will do it on another show. All right, so that's it. That's it. That is the show. Make sure you grab a copy of the book, man. When you buy the book, that helps me keep this show on the air and helps me pay the expenses of doing this. And I love it. I love the fact that you care enough to help me out to keep this show going. All right, there's a PayPal link on the everywhere and all there's all you know where to go you know all the stuff thanks a lot that's it this has been the be positive stay positive podcast my name is nat i think we can all do a little bit better i'll talk to you later